We're here at the fabulous Food Show 2014 with Carla Hall. What a pleasure. Thank you so much. It is so great to be here. This is my first time. I know this is the ninth year. Yes. But this is my first time being here. But you've been to Cleveland before because at the West Side Market at uh, the gala for the 100th anniversary. Correct, correct. And that was my first time. So this is my second time in Cleveland. So every time I come here, it's something wonderful and fabulous. And I love the name, <laughs> Fabulous <laughs> Food Show. I kind of took me a little while to, to hang on to that one. But we, we, do, we do the best we can. Um, I guess first off, some quick news, particularly those who travel. We did a phone interview about a week, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and you talked about opening a place in Nashville? Well, it's it's not going to be opened in Nashville. It'll be opened in New York, but it is a love letter to Nashville. Oh, I apologize. No, okay. that's okay. So it's um, Carla Hall's Southern Kitchen, nice. and I never wanted a restaurant, I have to say. I, this is a... And so this desire came out of nowhere. But you know what I realized? I was afraid to want a restaurant. And I always thought I was the smartest person in the room not to want a restaurant. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And at it's 50, a tough, tough it's kid. a really tough business. And you really don't make as much, you don't make any money, really. People think you make a lot of money. No. If you have one restaurant, no, no, not so much. It's really about passion. Um, I can see that. And this is kind of going to be my little baby and at 50 years old I'm, I, I feel like I want to do it and I'm going with it so yeah. this is me jumping and I'm waiting for the net to appear but it's Nashville's hot chicken okay. which is fried chicken tossed in a spicy oil from mild to fiery hot and southern sides that's it really quick serve fast casual that's it about how many square feet um, I'm looking for about 2200 square feet on the low end we just really I, I, I you know, I think it's a good idea for me to have a line because at least the perception outside is that that, that people are it's happening. <laughs> things are happening and people want to come. Um, you know, what, whenever you go to a country, if I go to Tokyo and I'm going, I'm in the um, the fish market and I look for the line. Yes. And that's the yeah, place I'm going exactly. to go. So if there are no seats inside or if there are only six, the line has to be outside. And so people will think, I want to go there. It, it generates some some in, um, energy. Exactly. Pearl, uh, Pearl Oyster Bar in the Lower West Side. Yes. You, what do they have, 10 seats or something? Right. And people out the door. And out the door. And it really does get that, whoa, got to eat there. Gotta exactly. Eat there. So what have you been doing at the food show? What kinds of dishes are you doing here? So um, the first day I did a smoked turkey and bean stew, and um, and we were, this is kind of like a holiday theme. And when we spoke before, I'm like, I can't remember what I'm making. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So this is a great stew to do with your leftover turkey, mm -hmm. okay. or if you don't want, if you don't have a turkey and maybe you smoked a turkey, because it's, it's such a simple, simple stew. It's a little spicy. You've yeah. got the beans. I did these corn cakes, the little tiny um, silver dollar corn cakes. Okay. and smoked turkey and that was delicious and then today I did a curried um, carrot soup but I did it with a mango chutney grilled cheese a mango oh. chutney and Havarti grilled oh. cheese and so that chutney while you're making it go ahead and make a lot of it put it up put it in little jars and it's a perfect Christmas gift to give to your friends that's a nice idea I love homemade gifts and yes nothing speaks quite like homemade food you know hits the heart when we were talking on the phone a couple of weeks ago uh, we talked about how important why Thanksgiving is so meaningful to you. Yes. Say a few words, if you would, about that. Um, well, first of all, Thanksgiving, you know, it's all about the family coming together and the mm -hmm. friends, and um, you don't have to do, do Christmas gifts. You know, it's no gifts. It's about yeah. family and tradition. So the gift, I feel, for Thanksgiving is the food memory. Yes. So, you know, I am... Well, of the thought that you should not mess with Thanksgiving. Okay. Please do not mess with Thanksgiving. You people out here, please don't mess with Thanksgiving. Don't put my turkey into a pate. Don't make the gravy into a foam. Don't oh, put like yeah. the cranberry sauce into some jelly. Please. You know, I think if you're going to have a new dish, have maybe one one side dish that's new, and it has to still have the flavors. Like, I might do Mario's bone turkey because it's still a turkey, right? You right. know, and and it still will carve like a turkey. But you, people are looking forward to this holiday yeah. as a food memory, and when you go back, you know, you want to have that ratatouille moment. You don't want to have a what the hell is this moment? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh We'll clean it up for television. Thank you. I always, one of my favorites, I gotta tell you this real quick. Uh, 
one of my dearest friends had me for Thanksgiving years ago. And instead of turkey, we had a turkey sandwich with avocado and red onion. Instead of cranberry sauce, we had cranberry soda. And you that's know, what I'm talking about. And, and you know, and you sat, and I sat there and all I could think was, I can't wait. To get, I was living in California. And I can't get wait to get back down to L.A. where I can roast a whole turkey so I can take two slices and give the rest away because I just want I want leftovers. Yeah, no, she should have been on the Friday lineup. We, I would have gone to her house on Friday. So, like, well, check this out. So I'm talking to my sister and um, my sister, the Thanksgiving dinner is being hosted at her house. And so on the two, we were talking about Thanksgiving to go. And we were like, okay, what are you going to take? You know, that dinner where people are like, oh, come to my house. We bring three sides and a dessert. And I talked about my sister because she's all on that. And she sends me a text and says, oh, that was so funny. Ha ha, can you bring the turkey too? <laughs> Okay, right. So she's, she tells me to bring the... the subway? Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> we can bring the turkey, too. And then she says, you know, I love kale salad. I'm going to make a kale salad. I love kale salad, too. For Thanksgiving? Leave, really? Leave me alone. Leave, what the heck, man? <laughs> what the heck? We can have that on Friday. Exactly. You can experiment 364 days of the year. This is Norman Rockwell. You know, this is Norman want, Rockwell. You know. I want to have the picture with the... The turkey and all of that. This is Norman Rockwell. Thank you very much. No, absolutely. But one of the things that you said, and I'll let you get going. I no, I'm fine. I remember you saying the kind of at your house, as you grew up, Thanksgiving is like take on all comers. Yes, it's a, it's what we call the do drop in. There is always a seat and a space there, be it virtual. But it's all about do drop in, and we have more than enough food. And, and if you don't have a place to go, there is a space for you at our table. Even if we didn't know you were coming, when you get to that door, we know you're coming in. You can get you can get 20 servings out of a 20-pound turkey, or you can get 47 servings Absolutely. if that's what you need to do. Absolutely. And that's where all the sides come in so That's well. where all the sides come in. Carla, it's such a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you I'm so quite much. Quite sincerely. This is so I great. It. I hope you have a good visit, and I hope we'll see you back again in town You soon. will see me back again in Take town. Care. Take care of yourself.